Jesus Christ used those three words to accomplish his mission. Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, including gospel, philosophy, politics, and diplomacy. By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth foundation. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the deep world divide, and the clouds let drop the dew. The scripture form a chain with those words, which are wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. It is preponderant for a pastor to understand those words before he can be ready to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. No one can preach the gospel of Jesus Christ if he cannot comprehend those three words. It is sine qua non to understand them because they are the pillar of the gospel. Pastors, evangelists, believers, if you know that you don't understand those three words, the two important words, it can be wise to do not put yourself in the pedestal. If you don't understand them, you cannot serve God faithfully. If you don't understand them, you are not ready yet to be a shepherd. A boat captain has to know that he is the man in charge. He is responsible for the life of the passengers. He is the same for a pastor. He is responsible for the spiritual well-being of the believers. He has to know how to instruct them. How to guide them. Proverbs 24 verse 3 and 4 is stated. Through the wisdom a house is built. And by understanding it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A good pa, a good professor must know a subject before he can teach it to others. A person can give what he has, but he cannot give what he doesn't have. If one doesn't have wisdom, he cannot provide wisdom to his followers. If he doesn't have wisdom, he cannot understand the true nature, the true essence of something. In order to see something for what it really is, one must have wisdom. One cannot read between the lines if he doesn't have wisdom. Wisdom is required in order to know the truth of the matter. One must have wisdom before he can understand, comprehend the matter. Understand can, can help someone to know the reason of something. It's help deciphering what, why, and how. Wisdom will attract knowledge. Knowledge is the substance of wisdom. Knowledge helps to understand your environment. It can preserve life. Hosea 4 verse 6 said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of your God, I will also forget your children. Many believe, many believers do not want to hear about philosophy. But when you break down the term philosophy, some believers could be amazed to know its etymology, its origin. It is not my plan to talk about philosophy, but it is important to the, for the believers, pastors, to know that the prefix of that word comes from the Greek word philio, which means to love. And its root comes from the Greek word Sophia, which means wisdom. In other words, the term philosophy means love of wisdom. We believers have to love and to love wisdom. By wisdom we can get knowledge. Wisdom makes us humble. It makes us understand what we do not know anything. It accelerates, motivates. A test for knowledge in us because wisdom tends to acknowledge our fiability. And when someone becomes wise, it's more flexib flexi fle reflexive, introspective, and tolerant of uncertainty. A wise man, when he's, when he's supposed to talk, and when he's supposed to close his mouth. Proverbs 17, verse 27 and 28 said, Whoever restrains his word has knowledge. And he, who, and he who has cool spirit is a man of understanding. If any fool who keeps silent is considered wise, 
when he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. Wisdom is a source of epistemic self-confidence, yet lack of epistemic arrogance. Arrogance is condemned by, by the Bible. It often diets that most knowledgeable people are not wise. They have a tendency to be arrogant. Proverbs 16 verse 5 said, Everyone who is arrogant in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Be assured, he will not go unpunished. A lack of wisdom engenders arrogance, bragging. It is a result of false knowledge. Shallow brain. Romans 12 verse 3 said, For by the grace to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment each according to the measure of faith that God has as a sign. It is good to have knowledge, but it is worthless without wisdom. Anyone who wants to live a peaceful life, a life of good reputation must be wise. It is a virtue. All the wisdom can create enemies. It's magnificent to be wise. Socrates was a classical Greek philosopher, credited as one of the founders of Western philosophy. It started, I will try to show you what has caused this reputation and slander. Be sure that all that I say is true. What caused my, my reputation is a certain kind of wisdom. It can be human wisdoms. Perhaps it may be that I really possess this, while those whom I mentioned just now are wise with wisdom than human. This is the word of Socrates, a great philosopher. It is not matter who said the truth. The truth is the truth. Light can shine in the darkness regardless who carries the torch. However, the darkness has to comprehend the light. It is not a question, it is not a question of philosophy or the gospel. It is a matter of preparation. John 1 verse 5 is started. The light shine in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. God has been created a complete human being. We all have wisdom, understanding, and knowledge within us, but we have to let them manifest in us. We have to reject our selfish way. We have to stop being wicked to, so that wisdom, understanding, and knowledge can flourish within us. John 3 verse 19 asserted, This is the verdict. Light I come into the, into the world, but people love darkness instead of light, because they did were evils. You pretend to be civilized, to be the best race, to be the most intelligent race. All of those are bluffing. If you cannot use your wisdom, understanding, and knowledge to advance the human race. If a nation stands for the well-being of humankind, it has, to, it has to operate for a neutral position, a position of authentic and real, which can prevent the nation to play with rules of another country. Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge are important within Christianity. Unfortunately, most of believers do not reveal the value of those three words. Jesus Christ in his, in his teaching emphasized on wisdom. It was by wisdom that he accomplished all his miracles. It was by wisdom that he received the power of the Lord. Isaiah 11, verse 2 and 4 said, The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the Spirit of counsel and power, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes, or decide what by what he is with his ears, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decision for the poor of the earth. Jesus Christ used his wisdom to revolutionize the world. He changed the world forever. The world before Jesus Christ was a world without charity. It was a world without sanctity of life. It was a world without respect. Before the arrival of Jesus Christ in the world, Every culture practice a slavery and human sacrifice, even the high steam Greek in the Roman civilization. Child sacrifice was common among the pagan religions. The arrival of Jesus Christ on earth established, set the captive free. Jesus Christ was the greatest man who has ever lived. He brought wisdom, 
understanding and knowledge in politics, in diplomacy, and in life in general. The politicians of the world have to use their wisdom, understanding, and knowledge to bring prosperity to their people. They have to use their wisdom in order to have compassion for their people, for the poor. They have to use their wisdom to apply it, respect to the rule of law and the preparation and the separation of powers. The politicians of the world have to use their wisdom, understanding, and knowledge to transform the world for the better. As the Christianity of Jesus Christ had done. We live in a world where the strongest put the weakest in change as a result of lack of wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Isaiah 5 verse 13 started, Therefore my people go into exile for lack of knowledge. The honored go hungry, and their multitude is parched with tests. The politician of the world ill-treat, abuse, and steal the wealth of their country because they do not they do not know better than that. They do not know the truth. They become greedy. They put themselves in a slave because they do not know the truth. John 8 verse 31 and 32 said, To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you all to my teaching, you are really my disciple, then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. A lack of wisdom in diplomacy makes the world become a dangerous place to live. Human beings invented nuclear weapons just to destroy themselves. It is irrational to think that human, human beings do not care even for their own children. They do not think about the consequences of a nuclear war. They only see, but they do not think. Proverbs 16 verse 2 said, all the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord waits the spirit. Wisdom is imperative in diplomacy. The conduct of the government official of negotiation and other relations between nations must be controlled by wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. May God bless all those who make wisdom and humility become the powerful instrument of diplomacy. We need wisdom understanding and knowledge in order to inherit the kingdom of God. God used those three words to accomplish all he did. He left them for us as a, as a heritage to conduct our daily matter. It is essential for believers to have wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Philosophers, psychologists, spiritual leaders, and a variety of thinkers try to understand the concept of wisdom. Do not brag about your knowledge so that you can be testy of learning. As Socrates said, the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. Wisdom plays an important role in politics. A politician has to think before taking a decision. Wisdom is the ability to think, act, utilizing knowledge, experience, understanding, common sense, and insight. Diplomacy of a nation must be conducted by a group of people who have wisdom. Theodore Roosevelt, former president of the United States, was a man of wisdom. He said, He speaks softly and carry a big stake. You will go far. Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge can tell to any United States president that the foreign policy of the United States is too sensitive important to leave it in the hands of the congress that has different political belief different culture in another word the american congress is a salad ball as tr mentioned the senate was ill equipped to handle foreign policy wisdom understanding and knowledge will require the american foreign policy to observe good faith and justice towards all nations cultivate peace and harmony with all Proverbs 4, verse 7 and 9 started, Wisdom is supreme. Therefore, get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding, esteem her, and she will exalt you. Embrace her, and she will honor you. May God bless all. Amen.